Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I'll be doing a head-to-head -head review and wear test of two concealers from drastically different price points. So one is a high-end concealer and then one is a affordable drugstore option. I will be comparing um, how they apply, the price points, and doing a wear test to see which one is best. I am wearing the concealers right now, so you'll have to watch the application, which is coming right up, to see which one is which. The two concealers that I'll be uh, reviewing today are the Tarte Shape Tape, which is definitely a fan favorite. Or makeup lovers favorite and then I have the photo focus by wet n wild concealer so we'll be comparing these two uh, you'll have to watch the application video to see which one is which I'll show you both these products give you my thoughts uh, you'll see a wear test so you can decide which one you think looks better if you end up liking this video um, hit that like button it helps me out a ton if you are new to the channel please uh, hit that subscribe button as well so that you can stay up to date with my videos all right so that's pretty much it for me let's go right into the application of these concealers and see which one is the best. We're going to be putting Tarte Shape Tape to the test against a drugstore concealer. Both of these I've used for a little bit, this one a little bit less time. This one is pretty old and it is looking a little sad. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige. And for the Tarte Shape Tape, it's the shade Light Medium. So both are kind of like light medium, this one says beige, this one doesn't. Both are a pretty good match for me. I'm not currently wearing any concealer right now, I'm just wearing foundation and everything else basically I've done my entire face except for underneath the eyes this wet n wild concealer is part of their photo focus line which also has the photo focus foundation which was super popular which is a great drugstore foundation for an amazing price however it doesn't work for me it broke me out a little bit so I haven't been using it I still have it but I'm pretty sure it is what broke me out so I only use the concealer currently this is $3.99 American so great price can't really beat that I'm seeing about six shades of this, which isn't a great selection, but it's not terrible concealer. You can kind of get away with not a great match, and it still would work depending on the undertone. Just so that you know what it says, it says, Let your natural beauty shine with our self-tested creamy and luminous concealer, tested to be white cast free. Under seven different photo lighting conditions, this high coverage concealer allows you allows your best features to get noticed gorgeous skin will be your only look we will put it to the test to see if it is as good as shape tape if uh, shape tape is worth the splurge so let's do that let's switch over to the Tarte shape tape now which I purchased about two months ago um, when they were having a 20% off sale which includes the shape tape and I really wanted to try it in Canada Tarte shape tape isn't available in stores because we don't have any Ulta so we just have Sephora's which don't have the Tarte shape tape they have the rest of the Tarte line but not the shape tape there are 14 shades of the Tarte shape tape so that's definitely a little bit more than the photo focus one uh, this one is vegan I don't believe the wet n wild is it doesn't claim to be. It's a full coverage vegan blendable concealer that instantly brightens, smooth, and shapes. And then it also says that it provides a flawless matte finish that won't flake or crease even if you have dry skin. Um, and it says no setting powder is necessary, which is great because I don't use setting powder. So I've tried and tried baking and it just seems to uh, cling to dry patches. So I do have combination skin and it just doesn't seem to work for me. I believe this retails for $20 American because I paid $26 Canadian. So I would guess it's somewhere around $20 American. Definitely a more high end concealer. The new Kylie. Um, um, concealers are $20 as well. I'll be applying both of these concealers, one under this eye and one under this eye, and we will compare the wear, uh, the application, and everything like that, and you'll get to see them on. Let's get right to applying them. We'll apply under the eye and we'll also use it to cut the eyebrow because I haven't used anything under my eyebrows either. So let's do this. So first I'm going to apply the Photo Focus Concealer. Um, by Wet n Wild under this eye. So let's first just apply a bunch. Let's blend this out. I swear I still have sparkles from yesterday's eye look that I did or the day before, the last video I did. Um, it, if you see sparkles, you are not crazy. So that blended out super easily. I don't have super dark circles, but I just want like concealer to brighten it up a little bit. I will say it looks a little bit sheer. I have a little like redness right there and it's not really covering it too, too well, but it's not terrible. I think um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more 
just so we can get a better idea of like how it works and get the coverage that I actually want. And again, we're just blending with a Real Techniques uh, sponge here. And I'm gonna use one side of it for this concealer and the other side for the shape cake. So this is the photo focus side here. Let's do under the brow while we're here as well. So I'm gonna apply it with a concealer brush here. I'm just gonna take the concealer wand, which is just a doe foot applicator, by the way. It's pretty small, pretty much the same that you'd see for like a lip gloss. And I'm just gonna dab my brush against that, take some product, close this up, and just cut underneath our brows. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess and then just blend this out. Uh, by the way, on my eyes, I will list all the products that I use, but I did use the um, NYX Ultimate Brights Palette again. I don't do on top of my brow, but I'll just use whatever I have left just on top here. But yeah, that blended out super easily. It's not incredibly brightening, but it's not bad. Going with the Tarte Shape Tape, just to compare, that's the wand difference here um, between the Photo Focus and the Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape is huge, it's a huge doe foot applicator, and this one's just like your standard doe foot applicator. So this one is massive, so you, I don't know, you get a lot more product applied um, in one go. And also the Tarte Shape Tape concealer is quite large. The Photo Focus is a lot smaller. The Photo Focus concealer has 0.29 fluid ounces, and the Tarte Shape Tape is 0.3381 uh, fluid ounces, so it has about 0 0.04, four to five uh, more ounces. So even though it looks so much bigger, it's not actually a massive difference in product, but I do like the packaging on the Tarte Shape Tape. It's quite nice. Let's apply the Tarte Shape Tape under the eye with this big old doe foot applicator. And as you can see, you just get a lot more product all right, that should be good. As you can see, it's a lot more brightening. So that's our two concealers. That's as much as I would put on on a normal basis, maybe even a little bit less. We'll do the eyebrows as well with Tarte Shave Tape now. I'm just gonna take this doe foot applicator, put it on me, and use the brush again. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess again and then start blending. Okay, so that's the concealer applied underneath the eyebrow and it looks good. I would say, yeah, a little bit more uh, bright than the photo focus side. This side is a little bit more brightening effect, I would say. Shades are similar in the bottle. This one looks a little bit lighter, I but in person. They look almost the same, but on the eye they apply very different. I would say this one's a lot more brightening and then this one's a little bit less, more sheer. Just to show you, this is what they look like zoomed in. Tarte Shape Tape here, and this is the Photo Focus Concealer on this side. So we're doing a wear test, obviously. Uh, I just wanted to show you the time. The time right now is 5.45, so we'll be wearing this for the next uh, couple hours. I'm hoping to come back at about 11, 11.30, so we will come back and I will give you my final thoughts. So this is the current time, it's 10.54, if it's a little bit hard to see. I haven't done any touch-ups, this will be the final and only check-in. I got the time check at about 5.45, but I had applied it around five, so we're pretty much at six hours of wear. I did no touch-ups, no powder, no nothing, no, I didn't even rub under my eyes, so we'll zoom you in. All right, so we're nice and zoomed in, and I'm just gonna look in the mirror myself. There's a little more of my mascara and like flaking under this eye. There's a couple flakes under this side, but a way more creasing. Just the concealer in general looks just like a lot more creased, and I'm surprised at how much more fallout there is on um, from the mascara compared to this side. And also just, yeah, the creasing in general. If I just like wipe this, I think this would just look like I just applied it, which is great. So this side is the Wet n' Wild side. The Wet n' Wild side definitely has a lot more creasing and um, a lot more mascara coming underneath. And then this is the Tarte Shape Tape here, and it looks pretty good. There's a couple dots, but nothing major. Definitely the Tarte Shape Tape looks a, t a lot better overall. So yeah, let's give it a wipe and just see. 
this one pretty much looks like it has no concealer on anymore and then this one still looks pretty bright so just by simply like wiping with my finger it took off most of the wet n wild product and the uh, Tarte Shape Tape pretty much looks still pretty bright. The Tarte Shape Tape beat out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer um, in this glitter test. If you're looking for a cheap concealer for maybe from the drugstore, um, maybe just for your brows, or just maybe to layer with another concealer, then this might be good, um, but it doesn't give you that much brightening and it doesn't have that great of wear without setting. Maybe if you set it, it'd be a little bit better, but the Tarte Shape Tape by itself is great. All right, well, I hope you liked the video and thank you so much again for watching. If you did like it, just hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. It's just down below there. And if you want to subscribe again, just hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification to get notifications whenever I post since it is a little sporadic but I try to post a couple videos a week and usually I post in the morning. Again thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned a little bit about the two concealers and if you have any questions just let me know. I will list all of the makeup products that I used in uh, the, on the rest of my face in the description box below. Hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in my next video.